Metroid, a vir virulent floating organism that drained energy from its prey through physical contact. Metroids were originally created by the Chozo and named after their word for Ultimate Warrior. Their value as a bioweapon sparked several crises, and as a result, all traces of them have been eliminated. They are now extinct. Dyx Parasite, a gelatinous parasitic organism indigenous to the planet SR388. It could absorb the DNA of its host, living or dead, and replicate its form. When infecting its living host, it could even access the host's memories. X parasites were driven not by emotion, but by an ex instinctive need to replicate and spread to increasingly stronger hosts. Their inability to be controlled marked them as even more dangerous than their sole predator, the Metroids. Like the Metroids, they are believed extinct. With no Metroid surviving on SR388, it became infested with the X, horrifying parasites capable of imitating any living being. Unaware of this, I set foot on the planet, got infected, and almost died. The only thing that saved me was a vaccine created from Metroid DNA, which also left me uniquely able to oppose the X. This ability was tested immediately when I went to a bio biologic lab, biologic space laboratories, BSL research station, to investigate a distress signal. There I battled many powerful X forms, including SAX, which was an X, which was the X mimicking me within my power suit at full strength. I eventually eliminated the X menace on SR388 by setting the BSL research station on a collision course with the planet. After that, the X and Metroids were just memories, or so we thought. Just when it seemed all over, the Galactic Federation received a mysterious video transmission. It showed an X alive in the wild. Thorough analysis pro proved the video was real, although the sender was unknown. The transmission was traced to a particular planet. It was called ZDR. If the X had somehow escaped extinction out there, they would pose a threat to the entire galaxy. The Galactic Federation dispatched a research team of seven EMMI to investigate. The EMMI is a large research robot designed to capture field samples and extract their DNA. Their incredible mobility and protective plating, made of the strongest stuff in the universe, practically guaranteed the mission's success. But long after their arrival on ZDR, all communication was lost. What is happening on ZDR? Is the planet really infested with X? As the only immune to the as the only one immune to the parasites, it's up to me to go there and find out. We'll 
soon be entering ZGR's atmosphere. That elevator leads to the depths of an underground facility. Signal quality is likely to be low. Remote communication remains secure. Try to connect to the facility's network when you reach the bottom. That way, you can gain in contact. Many injections, lady. Hello everybody, this is Dragon Kirby and welcome to the first episode of Metroid Dread. Woo! Well, we are this has been like what the first ten ish minutes? But seven, eight ish minutes, well, I don't know how long. Of us doing the of us entering the story of this, and we've already lost everything. But hey, I love the design of this suit. It looks so nice. Nice and clean. And uh, I have no idea what that uh, that little bird dude is. I think... Wait, aren't the Chozo bird people? Is he a Chozo? I'll figure that out later. Oh. There, and we have some enemies, which we can use the left bumper to lock on. We have, we have 15 missiles, which we can hold the right bumper for. We have ZL and ZR do nothing. Y does a little melee attack. X shoots, A ju B jumps, A does nothing. So we have what we have our, uh, oh, hey, ZL slide. 
Okay, good to know. We can't do anything with that. You use free aim and you can aim perfectly. Aim, well, 360 degrees, which is really cool. That would have been like the perfect time for it. We have little blocks up there, which we can use the our uh, luck bumper for free aim while hanging onto walls. Which is really cool. Ammo is already at max capacity. We have this. Oh, when you press up against the wall, she puts her hand on the wall. That's cool. I love attention to details with this type of stuff. We can, we can crouch, press R for the missiles, fry to fire, and boom. Some destructible blocks are hidden. If you run into a dead end, try shooting at your surroundings. Striking some blocks with missiles may reveal how to destroy them. Like that. Whee! Whee! Ow. I already took damage. I already took damage. I like the first. Uploading data. So you've accessed the network station. Well done, Samus. I have reviewed your vital signs and video log from the data you uploaded. I've run a full analysis, but I cannot account for why you lost consciousness. My readings indicate dramatic physical changes in you. Whatever caused these changes seems to have stripped you of most abilities. You might call it physical amnesia. That brings me to your assailant. I am checking the Federation database against your video log. It appears to have been a chosen. The attacker's identity is not yet clear. I have determined that you are somewhere within the depths of ZDR. Your top priority should be to return to your ship on the surface. This situation is precarious. Trust your instincts as you navigate upward. This planet appears to consist of multiple areas, shuttles, elevators, and other modes of transport connect them. Keep an eye out for ways to reach the surface. The ship's location is marked on your global map. Check it for yourself. You may encounter pockets of low temperature. Your metro DNA renders you vulnerable to such environments. Spending time in cold areas will be harmful to you. There are many such cold areas scattered underground. Do not enter them with your basic power suit. One final thing. Underground interference is preventing radio transmissions. Check in with me at any network stations you find. Save your progress. Might as well. Actually, I just press B instead, because that's the jump button. You can press plus to open the map. We can see the map. There's ammo research station. You can press X for the global map. We can see the ship right up there. And it gives us a percentage of our items. Which is cool. Also, apparently there's also an item percentage, I believe, for, I think, this area we're in. That actually might be a better case of it. We can also place markers if we need to. Like, these markers. But hey. Let's... I believe we can step here. Let's save. I don't want to lose any of this progress. There you go. Game saved. And let's keep moving forward a bit. There's a little slime bud. Can't do anything with that. We can do that slide over here. Use melee counter at the right moment to parry certain attacks and automatically take aim at the attacker. Press X to use your melee counter now. Boom. Best thing in this game. Wow. You, you can run up and uh, you get a little, like, little yellow swipe that has like a little like, electrical effect. Parry enemies with the melee counter or press X at the right moment. Or we can just smack him anyway. Ow. Oh, dang it. 
That was like the perfect moment. Boom. Let's get our HP back. We, we already have our wall jump too? The game, you spoiled me. Sadly, if you're expecting Super Metroid wall jumps because I've been, uh, you know, we haven't played this game, which if you're a Metroid fan, I highly encourage you if you haven't. As a non-Metroid fan, I thought this game was really, this game is really fun. I'm going to tell you this now. Spoilers ahead of how, what I think about the game. This game is fun. But, uh, ah, dang it. Oh, wow. Oh, that looks so cool. The cinematic of doing that. This little, oh, we can't go up there. We don't have the, we don't have mobility. Or not, well, we do have mobility, not enough mobility. We can't go through there. So we gotta like, this with classic Metroid fashion. Oh. What was this? If an area on the map is bleaking, it indicates that a hidden item is in the is there. Oh, they. I haven't played this game in a while, so like, oh my goodness, being able to tell us like, hey, not only is there a secret item right here, missiles, which increase it in. We should increase our, our capacity by two. Oh, and now we can't go through. All of this for missiles. Whatever, let's keep going. Oh. by pressing X at the exact moment of the flash. However, the timing is extremely difficult to gauge. Make this, making this a desperate maneuver. Let's slide under and leave. Ah, uh, this is, welcome to the horror part. The enemy can't follow us, so let's keep... <laughs> the energy from the central unit transformed to the arm cannon into an Omega Cannon. Omega Blaster Online. Hold L. Hold R to charge the Omega Blaster. Once charged, press Y. Once charged, press Y while holding R to fire. Okay, so R to charge. And boom. Okay, good to know. Also, the ME, or EMMI, as I said earlier, this is the horror part of the game. Or, you know, the dread. Oh dear. Let's go back here. Aim, try to charge up. And bam! Omega cannon depleted and offline, reverting to regular arm cannon. A one-time use, a one-time use super beam to take care of, well, an enemy. Poor little brain thing? It looks like a brain. Well, let's keep going. Whee! I love this little slide. The, they made these with these walls slanted to keep us from wall jumping. How rude. 
Oh, we back into a. Oh, wait. We're back here. We can now go up here. Although there's a secret item over there, but I, but I don't think we can get that yet. And we found another safe station. I'll accept that. And with us saving right here, I think this is a good time to end. So next time on Metroid Dread, we're going to continue, well, exploring the map, doing what uh, Adam said, trying to get up to our ship, and, well, avoid cold areas and see if we figure out what that Chozo has to do with... Oh. See what that Chozo has to do with how we lost our abilities, or has he, as Adam described it, as physical amnesia. So... If you enjoyed this video, you can like, comment, subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.